Hi, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. This uh, tutorial is going to be what the buttons are uh, in Canvas, which is your brother uh, cloud-based software that you use to design your uh, objects. Okay, so after you sign in, you have to create your own account. After you sign in, <coughs> you'll come to the New button. Click on that one. And then it will open this uh, creative space here. Okay, so let's go through here. This one says create new project, which that will just bring up a brand new screen. Um, this will overwrite, which means anything that you have there, it will save it and then bring up a new screen. Um, this is your image tracing. So let's go through here and see what we can find. Um, let's go to downloads. See if we can bring something in. And this is meant for any JPEGs, anything that is non-SVG. Okay, let's try this. We'll get a sugar skull. And then it has options to outline or put it in color. So we'll do this. And I do not like that at all. So we'll delete that one. But that's what the button's for. So <coughs> let's try and see if we put it in color, if that will help. That's one thing about doing image tracing. There we go. That sometimes you'll get something that looks really cool, and sometimes you won't. All right, and you see? outlines the stuff wasn't joined so um, oops what do I do you come back here and you hit undo then you come in here and you magic box it this is what I call magic boxing you come up here to edit and you go to group and that will then group everything together so that you can move it all as one okay SVG this is the button you use to import your SVG um, let's see. Let's do the bug. Oops. That one was not an SVG. That was a JPEG. <laughs> okay. This one should be. Yep. We'll just get part of it over so that you can see what you do there. But as you see, it's SVX, DXF, and then the FCM files. Okay, so there's an SVG file that just imported. So that's how you do that. Um, here is your node editing. Um, and as you see, it brings up these little dots that you can edit things with. Okay. And there's usually another thing that comes up here. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so let's come to this one. This is your draw feature. So you use a pencil and you just draw. And that should smooth out a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to smooth out. Okay. Um, your undo button, my favorite button in the whole world. It takes away all of your boo-boos. And then that one is the redo button. So, like, say I, I went too far. Well, I don't want that, so I'll go back there and redo that one. Um, and these, let me see if I can highlight this. There's your weld button. There's your divide button. There's your remove overlap button which means anything that's overlapping it will remove it. There's your subtract button. And then your create offset line which is kind of like a shadow. All right. And then your properties button which you click that and you have all this. The cutting line, drawing line, um, the colors if you want any of that. And then um, 
how many degrees when you flip it, things like that, okay? As you see, I just clicked on it, and you'll see the skull start to move. All right. And then up here in your project, this is where it saves it and brings up another one. Save as another project. You can download it through here. Um, this is the same as your SVG button to bring uh, an SVG, a DXF, or an FCM file over. Image tracing, that's the same as the other button up there. The area size, this is how you change it depending on what mat you want. Um, and then back to my projects, which will take you to that front screen that had the butterfly and the little ornament thing on it of mine. Um, cutting, copying, duplicate, paste, um, flip. Let's see. Oh, let's flip that way. And that's let's flip horizontally. And that's how you do it. And you, that's considered also mirroring. And you want to be able to use that when you do any like HTV, especially. The order, the bring forward, these are really important. Um, when you use the subtract, the process overlap, the subtract and remove uh, overlap button so that you know exactly where things are positioned. Um, creating the offset line. Um, the outward means the outward line. It will be an outward shadow or an inward shadow for people that do like paper things. Now with fabric, I'm not a fabric user and I apologize. Okay, you see what that did? Created a huge old ugly mess. But that's what the uh, shadowing does to some objects. It'll kind of make them all crazy like that. So you, sometimes you need to work with it. Okay, we'll delete that. And then your view buttons. Um, show only the cutting line. That's the one I, I always check before I save anything. And then you can change it um, from inches to millimeters um, on your uh, mat here. Let me do that for you. So then this will change to millimeters. Okay. And then these are all your shapes. Um, so you can bring in shapes over here to your mat. Now, with text people often get confused. You cannot import permanently any text into Canvas. You can use another program and you know go ahead and you know transfer it to like an SVG things like that to bring it in. But you know my whole thought is well if you're already in that program you don't really want separate letters over here anyhow you'll create your whole design in that program to begin with so it's kind of a moot point. Alright, so that's what all the buttons do. Um, your download button, uh, always make sure that you name your file. And then when you click download, um, yeah, I know, because there's nothing there. Um, when you click download, it'll take you to a screen. Um, and then if you don't have that project named, it'll, uh, hang on, let me see. It'll, I think it says like unknown or something like that. So you want to name it. And then when you get to this, okay, this is the how you get it onto your stick. You right click and then it says save link as. And then that comes up. Let me, so you can save it onto your computer or you can save it onto your USB stick directly from here. Now over here is my computer. And let's see if it's going to come up. It was acting up a little bit this morning. All right. There it should come up now. Yeah. So right here. So I can click on that and it'll bring up all the junk that I already have on it. And then it's already in FCM. There's the file name, so you definitely want to change that so you know what you're looking for. And then you click Save, so that will save it onto your USB stick. Or you can go ahead and save it into your computer um, by just clicking the right click, Save As, and then this will come up to be saved in your computer. Um, in the files, this one goes to My Documents and Facebook. Alright, that's it. Thanks, guys.